Okay, now we're going to look at identifying uh, an example of a unique brand, meaning something that's uh, a product that someone took and then they added their own brand to it. And because they added the brand to it, it brought a substantial amount of value to it. Now, this uh, listing right here is one of my favorites. This is actually the best seller in its category. Um, these pantry elements, silicone baking cups. Now, you know what's interesting about these is these silicone baking cups are, they cost you about 10 cents to, to buy from a, a wholesale source. They're common, and they even have a lot of them throughout Amazon, other people selling them as well. But I want you to look at the branding that they actually, um, uh, how they actually constructed the branding and the uniqueness of their brand. Uh, first in the title, you see we talked about branding, it's talking about the unique selling proposition. Um, they focused a lot of their information on, uh, one, uh, the idea that it's silicone, which is really great, but I think this whole set of 12 reusable cupcake liners, uh, that idea that it's a reusable liner uh, for people kind of like stands out to them because most people are used to cupcake, you know, paper cupcake uh, liners that you kind of make and then you kind of throw away. But these are reusable ones. Of course, they put that as a, a the first sort of um, uh, USP or unique selling proposition of these liners. Uh, they also added a couple more things too. Uh, later on, of course, we're going to talk about the title and how to, you know, create a great list. So they put a lot of um, benefits here. But they also added this great for bento lunch boxes aspect here too. Because what they've discovered is that um, that you know throughout the reviews they were selling these as uh, baking cups, but the reviews were saying that a lot of people were saying that they were using it for their bento lunches. And if you don't know what a bento lunch box is, it's those little lunch boxes with the different sections inside. Um, all of a sudden, people started using it for that purpose. So they they added that to their um, their branding. Uh, if it was me personally, I could probably sell this same product. And instead of making it baking cups, I'll make them bento lunchbox liners. Uh, some of you might go ahead and take that idea. If you don't, I'll take it and use it. Why? Because it's just taking another unique uh, uh, idea from this product and then making that the unique selling proposition. And then all of a sudden, you're the one known for these bento lunchbox liners. And you know you can get different shapes or different colors, etc. So the first thing we see is the unique selling proposition for them is that it's reusable. Um, you can use it for bento lunch boxes. Granted, I usually just put one, but um, it's, this can also be seen as another benefit that people can use it for. Now let's look at the, um, the packaging. Well, first the name, the branding name, Pantry Elements. I mean, that automatically starts making you think of baking, of, uh, of it being in the kitchen. So it, it's already giving you that, that good feeling. Now, the one thing that they didn't do that I would probably have done is give these a name. Um, instead of just silicone baking cups, I would have called it something else. Uh, uh, Baker's, uh, Baker's Dozen or Baker's De Dozen Delight Baking Cups. You know, something special. Uh, silicone um, uh, molding, uh, you know, cake molding, etc. You know, you name it. I can't think of something off the top of my head right now. But I would probably have put a product uh, name to this as well. So these are really great. Again, buy pantry elements. So of course, it's almost like it's a baked good company. And now I want you to look at the packaging. Okay, let's look at the, the packaging of this. This is actually the packaging. Now when you look at this, it, it kind of blows me away because I see a couple of really great things here. The All it is, it's a plastic container, but there's some special elements to it. Number one, it's see-through. So then you can see all the vibrant colors that it has. So of course, that automatically makes appeals to people because they, they it automatically puts people in a specific mood and feeling. The other thing is too, look at the labeling. The label that they created, which they could create it on Fiverr, honestly, they just created. But look at that label. I mean, it's it's vibrant. Uh, it has pantry elements uh, spell up on top. Um, it gives all these great benefits. Look how they created that uh, brand. Uh, just by creating a great package for people to see. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, you look at this, you're like, wow, this is a professional product. And granted, all it is is a bunch of silicone liners that are in a plastic cup. But the way that they've put it together gives you an idea or a feeling and motivates you to say, wow, you know what? If I'm going to bake, these are the kind of uh, liners that I want to use. Even for people who never considered using liners, now they would because they see how beautiful these things are and how inviting they are and almost like it appeals to your uh, inner baker or inner cook uh, to be able to um, uh, to want to borrow one of these as well or definitely buy one of these uh, for yourself. 
so let's look at a couple other pictures of how they branded this. Okay, let's look at these other pictures here too. This is another picture of how they branded it. Of course, they and we're going to talk about um, later on of the um, the actual listing and all these pictures and how these pictures really do motivate people to uh, to buy. But they actually gave you a, a good look at the actual label itself for you to see. But they've already now created the uh, experience for you, so that you look, you, you, it motivates you to want to buy it if this is your particular niche. So just for a review, uh, so we see that these, uh, the people who actually put this product together, they were able to one focus on a great, u a unique selling proposition. You know, this idea of using reusable cupcake liners. Uh, number two, they chose a great brand name, Pantry Elements, that gave you that feeling that uh, if you were a cook, that it's sort of it's within your wheelhouse. It's like it's something that you would you can uh, align yourself to, or, or that resonates with you uh, because of the brand name. The logo is really nice too, as you see here, uh, the Pantry Elements TM. Uh, very simple, uh, very just. Um, even the the fonts are really nice too, as uh, as well. Uh, they're big. So that also gives you a good feeling of, wow, you know what, I want to read this, I want to know more about this as well. Granted, you could do a couple other things for the logo and make it even more, uh, enhance it even more, but theirs just fit and worked really, really well. Uh, the product name, I would probably uh, have a better name than just Silicone Baking Cups. I would probably call it something and then describe it as Silicone Baking Cups. I would have added that part. Um, and the packaging is amazing. Look at this. And it was very simple, inexpensive packaging. You can literally um, buy one of these plastic uh, cups, an 8-ounce plastic cup like this with a lid. Um, and then all you have to do is slap your uh, label on it, and then you're done. I mean, it's not that very expensive at all. And then last, it creates an overall experience. In other words, when you see this, and you see the see-through um, uh, container, and you see all the vibrant colors, and you hear about the name, and you kind of take it all in it gives you a great uh, a feeling especially if this is your niche and it motivates you to go ahead and buy it uh, the price I think is kind of low but hey um, it's great for people because this is right now the best-selling item in its category so it actually worked really really well that price point considering that it, these liners probably cost 10 cents each and you got 12 of them so you got about a hundred a dollar twenty you just spent and you're making 11 bucks that's pretty good um, and actually, you could probably even get them cheaper than that, like one cent each if you buy them in bulk. So this is a great, great brand that they've created. Um, and, of course, it, the result is obvious because people are actually buying so many that it's made the bestseller list.